Hello, this is Drew Meal again, and we're going to go over the uh, operation of the Lab Tracer software. And once you can find that your device manager is loaded with the Keyfleet KUSB 488B uh, driver set, there will be a corresponding icon in the driver list for the devices. And we will be using Keyfleet's 2.8 version of the Lab Tracer software. We have installed the Visa Runtime and the .NET and uh, the um, KUSB 488 drivers um, before installing the Lab Tracer software. And in fact, all of the drivers should be loaded with a uh, with the proper application of in sequence before plugging in the USB. Once the VIVA is plugged in, it may go search for drivers once again. It may seem like it's doing it twice. But once that's all done and you can plug in the USB and you have the icon on the driver list in Device Manager, then you'll come up to the screen. Um, we would then put into this device this source measurement unit, which is the proper unit you have, in this case 2400 and the icon in the middle, we would put the custom DUT instead of what might be there to start with from the software. This red area underneath the device is the place you put the cursor and open up the uh, source meter control window in which you have three tabs, the source tab, the measure tab, and the advanced tab. In the source tab, you can set the values for the sweep and the number of points. In the measure tab, you can set the names of the voltage and current, in this case, and whether the measurement range is, is auto, which we recommend, and uh, there was a few other choices. In the advanced tab, you can select the four wire measurement yes, in this case, and for SMU auto zero, always. So we'll return back to the source. We've put minus 0.05 volts for the start voltage and 0.6 volts for the finish voltage and that should be good. We've also put 0.5 for the uh, current compliance which is about twice what the current will come out of the reference cell. Okay, so now we'll put the reference cell underneath the illumination of the uh, 16S and we will run the test. The runtime engine process queues the test, and we, what we have here is a current voltage curve running from 250 millivolts, milliamps rather, where the forward current is plotted on the y-axis, and the voltage underscore one is plotted on the x-axis. We define this graph in the define graph button by voltage one, we've selected x, and forward current, we selected Y. Now the forward current is defined when we go to the uh, the formulas tab on this, and we can create the forward current by multiple by equal to minus the current underscore one. This makes a negative it applies a negative sign to each of the values, which when the source measurement unit measures current, it's coming from the device, so it's negative. So in order to make the plot look what we're used to seeing, we'll use a data sheet value in the forward current, which are all negatives of the current underscore one. And that's the graph that we plot when we define the graph here. Voltage minus one on the X, forward current on the Y. It's also possible to change the values of the y -ax or the x-axis in order to get the uh, graph in the right area, and there's plenty of opportunities with many of the tools that Keithley gives you. Um, what we're going to do here is, in fact, I'm going to move the reference cell partway out of the, the light. This is at 250 milliamps in this case, and we'll rerun the test. Back to the main splash screen, run the test again. And now we see we've got 
we've reduced the current down to 100 milliamps with the same uh, minus voltage to here. So that concludes our demonstration of the lab tracer software uh, using uh, the soft solar light 16S and its reference.